spiders see familiar sounds. But how does it sound like underwater? In the sea, there is no complete silence. Waves and rain, lightning or marine earthquakes are part of the natural background noise. The animals living in the sea are also anything but silent. They produce various sounds to search for food, communicate and to orient themselves. Noise caused by humans increasingly interferes with the natural noises in the sea. First of all, worldwide shipping has to be mentioned. Ships continue to grow in size and number, and so do the kilometers they are passing, both in the industrial and private sector. Pile driving for the construction of oil platforms and wind turbines causes extreme noise in the sea. Air guns used for exploring the seabed are even louder. This permanent and long-lasting noise pollution thus causes stress in all marine animals. It is not rare for very loud sound events to result in internal injuries. As a consequence, whales and dolphins can lose their hearing. Deafness interferes with their abilities to communicate and to orient themselves. There are also negative effects on the hearing capacities of fish. This affects fish coordinating and synchronizing in their protecting fish schools. Often, the only option left for animals is to flee from those noise-polluted areas. Yet they cannot flee from permanent noise in all oceans. Regarding animals, this has long-lasting effects on their eating habits, health and on the number of their offspring. The survival of populations and species is thus more and more threatened. The good news is, there are approaches to reduce noise in the sea. Making use of less noisy marine propulsions and of speed limits reduces global noise pollution. Applying bubble curtains when working offshore is a current way to take action on marine noise mitigation. Similar approaches involve the use of alternative offshore embedded anchors without any pile driving. In addition, during seabed explorations, methods for vibration control can considerably reduce noise. A network of marine protected areas creates a safe haven for animals that are stressed out by noise. Despite all that, noise in the sea remains a big issue, which the UN decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development particularly focuses on. Although there are technical solutions for reducing noise, we basically need political decisions on their implementation and on installing transnational control systems that are valid for all oceans. After all, the future of the oceans is our future too.